Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet. It's Saturday. That means it's time for South OC Calls and Coffee. Let's go check it out. Kind of an overcast day today. The sun isn't out yet, but uh, the people are. All right, so here we have Simon's uh, supercharged Camaro. He's the founder of the show. And next to that, we have a one of the Holy Trinity. This is a Porsche 918 Spider. Yeah, so this was made during the time when Ferrari made the La Ferrari and McLaren made the P1. So this one is done in beautiful black. All carbon fiber body. Yeah. Single lug nut wheel, carbon brakes, carbon mirror cap. So you see the exposed carbon. And you see the top mounted exhaust. Now here's a little interesting feature. Now, you see this thing here? This thing is a deflector to prevent the exhaust fumes from going into the cabin when the top is up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the car is a really engineer. So, uh, because of how close the exhaust is to the passenger area, doing slow speed, uh, exhaust can get into the passenger area, and you know that's not good. So, so Porsche decided to engineer this little piece here to prevent that from happening. You don't need it for high speed, but for traveling at slow speed, yeah, you keep you put that on. So this car has a total of uh, three electric motors and one ice motor. There's uh, two motors in the front, one driving each wheel. There is an electric motor behind the ice motor, uh, tightening the transmission to, and they both power the back wheel. Combined system power is uh, almost 900. And when they first went on sale, they were going for around $900,000. Uh, these days, they're, they're, if you can find one for sale, they're over a million, maybe 1.5, as high as $2 million for a super low mileage example. So, Porsche 918 Spider. Here we have the Austin Martin's new SUV backing up. Uh, Stevie X, it has quite the presence to go uh, up live. The video doesn't actually capture it, but when you see this thing live, it, it, it looks really, really nice. Almost as nice as this Ferrari F8. So this one is in uh, Rosso Costa Red. And here you have another F8 in this uh, very nice teal color. Tealish, bluish color, crystal. And another F8 in black, so there you go. You have a whole choice here, black. Uh, quartz and red and an, another red one. Oh, this is a Ferrari F430 Special Alley. Yeah, special limited run of uh, Ferrari F430 and it's uh, lighter than a regular F430. Got more carbon. This one's got the uh, the stripe on the top and so there you see that gorgeous engine with whew, a carbon fiber intake. Beautiful. Yeah, look at, I love the exhaust at the back. F8, F12. Yeah, look at it. Got the windows down so you can look at the interior. Uh, classic Ferrari Doc Tan. I loved it, it looks special. I like Pete and I drove them when they had it. So there's a good look at the air bridge. It goes here, comes down the door and it goes up the side, and that actually generates the downforce. Another F8, the Ferrari F8 is very popular. Spider MP412C. Italia, the last naturally aspirated Ferrari V8. Uh, it has been reborn as a, uh, a CA Corvette Z06. Ooh. A full seat of Ferrari, very nice. 
And here we have a, a wrapped AMG GT in a blue, a baby blue. Another 360, a 992 Turbo. Yeah, 992 Turbo, and then this one's got the uh, the center lock wheel. They look cool, but it's a pain to get on and off. And Magnum PI's Ferrari right here, very nice, Targa. Uh, GT4 in a nice blue color. Uh, a GT3 with a giant rear wing. Wow. Lamborghini. Aventador. Another Aventador. Oh, another Ferrari FF. Nice wheels on this one. Another Italia. This one's got customized wheels too. 720S, soon to be replaced by the 750F. Another F4, another F430 Special Rally. This one's got the hood up. So let's take a look at the engine. So there you can see the carbon fiber intake and the Ferrari exhaust. Yeah. And here's a good look at how the different generations have changed over the years. So you can see, note the height of that engine and compare to the F8, the latest generation. Notice the engine is mounted much, much lower now. So by mounting the engine lower, they lower the center of gravity of the car and therefore increase handling. So you can clearly see it here. Look how, see, see the height almost to the door here. And then you check here, you, you see nothing until you actually see the engine. That's how low the engine is mounted. Now it actually is below, the engine is mounted below the intake. So this is the intake. And look how low the engine is. And, and here you see, that's the intake. And there's the engine. So on the same level. Hey, Porsche! Uh, another Ferrari is a 488. 650 McLaren. And what is this green thing here? What? Oh my God. It's a, it's an Audi TT Speedster. Uh, all right, so some guy took an Audi, either painted it green or was wrapped in green and some gold, and uh, put in a, a wide body kit, and then they, 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 they cut the windshield. Yeah, and he's got a baby seat. Lovely. <laughs> Very lovely. <laughs> it's an automatic too. <laughs> well, you got a baby seat. Uh, uh, check out that mirror. The rear view mirror is awesome. <laughs> and of course, you, you, you need the helmet because you're going to get wind in the face with, with this. Yeah, this, this is pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I doubt this would pass any rollover test or safety inspection, but yeah. Even the windshield's been cut right here. I mean, not the windshield, the, the window. Yeah. I mean, you, you can tell you can tell the workmanship is not from the factory. It's definitely, yeah. Now, let's be honest, it's a hack job. <laughs> but from here, <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Ooh. BW Kempa. Tiny Lotus Elise meets the Big Butter Corvette. Here we have a C8 Z06, the uh, fastest, hottest track ready Corvette ever made. This one's got the Optional carbon fiber wheel, so it's got the Z07 package, carbon brakes, made by Riverside Chevrolet. And yeah, it's got the very nice specs here, red and black interior. Yeah, huge, huge 13-inch wide carbon carbon wheels in the back. And here you see the uh, the natural aspirated motor, 5.5 liter, we're up to 8,600 RPM. So this is a this is the spiritual successor to the Ferrari 458. Yeah, so if you want a modern Ferrari 458, 
no turbo, no supercharger, all naturally aspirated, super high revving and sounds incredible. This is what you get. So we have another C806. This one in red. This uh, specs is a little more tame. So it's got normal wheel instead of the carbon fiber wheel. It's got the uh, red leather interior. It looks quite nice, red on red. And it's parked next to a normal C8 Corvette. So here you can get a good look at the difference in the grille design. Yeah, you notice. So you notice the uh, the mouth looks like protrudes out more, whereas this one kind of protrudes in. Right? In addition, the uh, the fender, see, the Z8 is wider, more pronounced, and the same thing in the back is wider in the back, so wider in the front. So this gives you a look at look at both. Speaking of Corvettes, check out this one. <laughs> it's a sedan with a Corvette heart. Okay, check out this thing. I believe it's some kind of Corvair. <laughs> so, uh, no engine here, just a fuel tank. Very clean. Real Corvair. Yeah, it's a Chevy mirror cap. So it was, yeah, some kind of Corvair. And all racing setup. <laughs> Look at that shifter. Removable steering wheel. All right. And here we have the engine, so. A flat box of six with, <laughs> with some carbon fiber everywhere. I see a flat box of six. Uh, I wonder how much power is making. Cool. Hey, young and green Porsche, meet your grandpa. <laughs> so here we have a BMW M3 with a uh, <laughs> A VF supercharger setup, so it's a synthetic supercharger. You can see right here, luckable like packaging. Everything is so tight. So here we have the supercharger. You can barely see it. That's the intake. Uh, there's a compressor, and then there we have on top of here the intercooler, and in the <laughs> and you can see the intake setup in here. Wow, wow. There's like there's like no space left in this thing. Check it out. Oh my God, what a talk about blast on the past. It's a, it's a Ford Falcon station wagon. Yeah, back in the old days. Look at that, white, white wheels, hubcaps, bent seat in the front, bent seat in the back, and play away for the kids. Oh. Hand crank to load the windows. So here we have a couple of Challengers, and this guy's left the uh, delivery tape on yeah you know this is supposed to be taken off but for some reason a lot of owner leave this uh protective strip on because they think it looks cool but you know it's it's like leaving the wrap on the delivery wrap on the car on when you leave that on that's kind of weird anyway so this is what it should look like see yeah all right take that off the jeep rubicon club Oh, here's a serious off-roader and check out that jack. Yeah, so big you gotta carry it across the hood. <laughs> oh, racing Mini. Fender flare by the tire. Uh, removal steering wheel. AEM strut brace. Ducks. Yeah. This thing ready to hit the track. It's the green mini. Oh, all right. It's got NOS. Yes, it's got NOS. <laughs> and here at the back of the uh, parking lot, we have the Range Rover Club. Yeah, lots of Range Rover. And one lonely BMW, but otherwise Range Rover. So check out this one. This one's ready to go. Glamping, overlanding, what you want to call it. He's he ready to go off road. He got the jack, big jack as well. He's got the sunshade up. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so this is South OC Calls and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you're in the Orange County area, you should come check it out. It's here at the San Clemente Outlet. John Chalvin, Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up.
Please like and share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.